Thanks for tuning in as we get back to the action of our broadcast here of Game 6. Really an incredible game from Doug McDermott. Boy, he put on a show from the three-point line in the first half, didn't he? We'll see if the halftime break had any cooling effect on it. Yeah, we'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding it to him behind the arc until he does cool off. Inside, Gibson and Noah. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler in the back. And it's McDermott in at the three. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Parker with it. Butler covering. Here's Duncan, and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Such a difficult shot to defend, that turnaround. And he's got his first chance at the line here. The Bulls leading by 12. The shot by Butler, nobody around. It's good, this time the assist from Rose. Rose has got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Parker passes to Duncan. Leonard kicks to Ginobili. McDermott with a steal. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Spurs trail by 14. Kicks it to Ginobili. Butler with the block. And Parker, here we go. San Antonio again missing. The Bulls have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Ginobili against Butler. And the wide open shot from Rose. Traps in the tray. Rose has got five points in the quarter. And they made three of their first four shots. 50 feet tall in the center of Hemisphere. The biggest stars have aligned on the biggest night in basketball. This series has gone down to the wire. The air is thick with excitement and anticipation. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Finals Game 7. Winner take all. A season of joy and pain will end here tonight. And thank you for making us part of your night on 2K Sports. In Chicago, taking on the San Antonio Spurs. You look at San Antonio. They have tried mightily throughout the long NBA season and now center stage exactly where they want to be. The home court advantage could play a big part, guys, in this one. Well, for my money, guys, this is the greatest spectacle in sports. Game seven of the NBA Finals. And I'm sure the players are as caught up in the excitement as we are. Unbelievable as a player to, to stay grounded with the atmosphere like this. It'll be a huge test. Steve. As you well know, some guys thrive on this and others have a hard time dealing with it. But either way, I think they all enjoy the competition of it and the opportunity. And I know we, everybody here and everybody at home, are going to enjoy the heck out of this matchup too. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Inside, Gibson and Noah. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. And it's McDermott in at the three. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the game right now. First one falls for And so Duncan hits them both. Here is Rose. To the wing right side. McDermott passes to Rose. For the three. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Rose. And it's eight points for Butler. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kevin, Greg Popovich had a few moments to share with me. He told me that as hard as it may be to believe in an atmosphere as intense as Game 7 of the NBA Finals, it's almost hard to be nervous. There's just too much going on. He said, we're ready to get to the task at hand. We know exactly what we need to do. And they do it. That's the question, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. And it's rejected. They get it back. Out to the right wing. For the three. And the shot is good. Butler's got 11 points. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jumpers. For San Antonio, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Parker against Rose. Ginobili with a screen on Rose. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Six points for Tim Duncan. And the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. The feed to McDermott. 
from downtown. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got three assists tonight. Spurs trail by five. Parker kicks to Leonard. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Uh, they're nearly perfect from the floor early on. Four of their first five shots they've drained. The Bulls have gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. Rose goes in, and the powerful one-handed slam. Ice hops and determination that time. Uh, game seven as we get ready to get back into the action. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And they're sharing the ball, too, which I love. They're piling up the assist. We're seeing great offensive movement. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So the Bulls five right now. Heinrich and Rose, the guards. Pau Gasol is out there with Miritic. And it's McDermott in at the three slot. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Green, no luck. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. And that one's good. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three-pointers. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played there. It's actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no D. And here's Mills from the arc. It's all in by the Bulls. They're coming off a great victory on Wednesday. I just loved the rhythm they got into offensively. I mean, they really started to click from the outset and it carried through the whole way. And that result was indeed impressive. They basically cruised all the way home. And the wide open shot from Green. That doesn't go either for Green. The Bulls leading by 20. Rose kicks to Heinrich. This one for three. And there's Derrick Rose on the assist by Heinrich. That's 10 points for Derrick Rose. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. They better not make it three straight because now all of a sudden you're looking at a hot streak. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Mason Plumley's checked in for Splitter. Duncan comes in for Boris Dia. Mono Ginobili, he's checked in for Green. And Parker subbed in for Patty Mill. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Gibson comes in for Miritich. Shot clock at three. Count the bucket. That's now eight points for Tim Duncan. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Parker against Rose. To the left wing. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Now here's Parker. Ginobili kicks to Plumlee. Here's Leonard. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way in. Plumlee's got his first points of the night. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Here's Rose. He's got 10. Noah kicks to Gibson. Back to Noah. Soft touch off the glass. I like the way they've played here in the first half. Just an intelligent floor game, getting good shots. Numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. Now here's Parker. And again, it's Tim Duncan. Duncan's got four points now in the quarter. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Rose attacking, feeds it to McDermott. Back to Rose. Here is Heinrich. He's got 12. Good! Heinrich's got 15 points. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Now here's Leonard. 
the drive by Duncan, and the Spurs scoring again. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was pretty good. Rose kicks to Heinrich, passes it to Noah. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Parker left side. That shot's good on the assist by Ginobili. Parker's got his second basket of the game. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Joseph, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. The Bulls also changing it up. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for McDermott. And Brooks subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. And it's Butler missing. Spurs trail by 21. And Joseph kicks to Parker. Plumlee sets the pick for Parker. Over to the left wing. Plumlee dishes to Parker. Elbow shot. The rebound by Gibson. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. Rose passes to Noah. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see them double. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Wow, this game just a commanding performance for Heimrich. 15 points. This is something special. I mean, he hasn't missed a single shot. It's hard to find words to describe it. Ginobili and Leonard on the wings. Duncan is out there with Plumlee, and it's Parker in at the one. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Spurs shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. That falls nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Ginobili's got three assists in the game. No good. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Now here's Duncan. Parker outside. And the three off target. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area on the glass that's played a big role in this game. Yeah, they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. Just putting on a passing display out there. Well, just to add another fantastic assist to the highlight reel for this guy. Kicks to Leonard. Releases from 15. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Noah's got four rebounds now tonight. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Now Rose, 13 points in the game. Here's McDermott, buries the long range jumper. McDermott's got 12 in the game. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Time called here, the Spurs decide to talk it over. Looks like he saw. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. This was an exceptional pass, guys, and we see the result. It hits him in stride, and bam, the slam dunk. Mm -hmm. So for Chicago right now, the forward combination of Dunleavy and Gibson. Tony Snell is out there with Brooks, and it's Bearstow in at the center position. Bonner dishes to Goodwin. Lock at six. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. <laughs> Nothing to argue about there. We throw good. Good one. Oh, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Now here's Brooks. Gibson the screen. And Brooks, here we go. An easy layup after coming off the pick. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Now, here's Joseph. Brooks covering. Fires from the wing. Bonner kicks to good. One minute now into this fourth quarter. They set the screen. Oh, look out. Watch out. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. 
that's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set, did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let him fly. Here is Bonner. There's the feed to Joseph. Ice ball boom by San Antonio. There's the bucket. Good. Here's Brooks. Here's Snell. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got six assists in the game. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, Clark. And Diaw kicks to Joseph. Just five on the clock. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite trailing in this game. Well, you know, that's when you need to be most aggressive when you're down. Another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for San Antonio. Now here's Gibson. Pass to Dunleavy. Soft touch off the glass. Good look. He'll make that one most of the time. The Spurs have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And Joseph kicks to good. This one for three. Shot by Joseph. No good. For Chicago, they've gone a perfect four of four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Here's Bearstow. But they get it back. And it's Kurlenko with the rebound. Can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. Leonard, no luck. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Snell, the pass to Gibson. Good on the shot. A great job getting the ball inside right now. Coach really wants them to show some physical presence and toughness here in the second half. And that's exactly what they're doing. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And Joseph kicks to Kirilenko. He dishes it to Goodwin. Down low, here's Bonner. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Snell kicks to Gibson. Cuts off the pass. Oh, and here comes Goodwin all alone. Throws down the breakaway jam. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Now here's Brooks. Snell, that's good. Snell's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Bulls. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. Just threes raining in from everywhere. Yeah, work that perimeter, work it good. And they might as well milk it while they're hot. Here's Joseph. That's a good one. Dishes it to Joseph. Down to five on the shot clock. And Leonard gets it to go. Despite the troubles he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. Here's Snell. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Snell's got nine points here in the second half. San Antonio's gone one and three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Takes it out to Leonard. Jacks up a three. And it's Dunleavy with the rebound. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, and that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead, no question. And that's going to be the end of an epic journey taken by both teams, really, in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA championship crowns ready for the Bulls. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark, uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for Jimmy Butler. He was doing everything right, and the points seem to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. Honor for three. 
and the shot is good. Wow, he's got such a sweet three-point stroke. The way he can shoot it, forcing opposing bigs out on the perimeter, can really open up the lane. Outside Leonard, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk, Clark, coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. The Spurs have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. And Joseph kicks to Goodwin. Feeds to Joseph. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Honor shot, good. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. Now here's Brooks. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. are the new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together and Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. Throughout your life, when you're a kid growing up and practicing on your, on your driveway or on your schoolyard, this is the culmination of all those efforts. One of the great moments in their life and their career that they'll ever experience. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.